Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect your mouse and keyboard to a PS5. It's a super simple process and won't take you more than a couple minutes. If you want to set up guides for Xbox, click the link at the top right or down in the description below. Let's dive in. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the RX 250K and the RX 250M, but the process should be the same for your preferred mouse and keyboard. On PS5, plug your keyboard and mouse into the USB ports on the console. There are two on the back and one on the front. Plug the keyboard into one of the USB ports in the back and the mouse into the one on the front. If you try and plug both at the back, the PS5 will show this error message. If your devices have RGB lights, they should light up now to show that they're getting power. And you won't be able to see the mouse on the screen, but you'll be able to use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move around the home screen. Check that they're connected. Press the PS button on your controller and select accessories. You should be able to see what devices are plugged in and registered. Speaking of settings, for your mouse you have two options. Type, which sets whether your mouse works as a left or right handed mouse. Mouse pointer speed, which changes how fast your mouse moves. If your mouse has a physical DPI switch, like this one does, you can still press the button to cycle through your DPI options. For the keyboard, you have type, this lets you change the keyboard's language. Key repeat delay, this sets how long you have to press the key before it starts repeating. And the key repeat rate, which sets how quickly the key repeats. Once you have those settings dialed in how you like, we can get into a game. Side note. Even though the PS5 has native keyboard and mouse support, it's still up to the game developer's discretion if they allow it. So not all games, including some first party ones, will support mouse and keyboard. I'll leave a link to our list of PS5 keyboard and mouse compatible games down in the description below, next to that subscribe button. So here, I've jumped into the game of Warframe, and it already feels more accurate than with the controller. Normally I'd have to ADS to make some of these longer range shots. As I said earlier, if you have the option, you can still use a DPI switch to make the mouse more or less responsive. For this one, I either have it at 1600 or 2400 DPI, depending on the game. So there you have it. That's how you set up your keyboard and mouse for PS5. If you found this video helpful, why not leave a like or share it with somebody who needs help setting up their own console. Also, if there are any other tips and tricks you need help with, why not drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.